she paints an important story right now, which is the one we were talking about in terms of the economy. Yeah. What's your big catalyst going into the fourth quarter? You know, right now we're looking at companies trying to figure out what their budgets look like for 2016. Yes. Never, never have the CEOs today had to deal with such uncertainty, such rate of change, and having to pivot as quickly as they have to. I mean, change is the only constant we're seeing today in, in the boardroom, in the CEO, in the corner office. Yeah. And these men and women, are, because of the uncertainty, you know, are having a very tough time. You know, Nicole made a good comment back to Terry Lundgren and, and Macy's. You know, without the international travelers who came over with empty suitcases and went home right. full, right, that's causing. Remember, he said that on your show a, a couple of months ago. Right. But, <clears throat> but I do think, Maria, that uh, the challenges for 2016 are going to be, are going to be significant and also dealing with an election you know the distraction that that creates right. and the angst that that's create and some of the animosity but god knows we've got to put some you know some process in place and i hope that uh, these candidates you talked to at the debate the other night on tuesday night really do come forth and deliver on some of the commitments that they make we've heard this year and year and right. year over and over again every every election Let's get somebody that really will deliver and return the United States in this country back to its rightful place. Did you, have you decided on a candidate yet? Who are you going to support? Uh, I'm still you, listening, listening, learning, and then I'll make the decision. All right, Bob, great to see you. Thank you, Maria. Really appreciate it. Bob Nardelli joining us. Up